We are with the Foundation Dame Una Pata, which means give me a paw. Um, vaccinating all their rescue dogs. This is Vet Tales, the story of the world's only sailing veterinary clinic. With the boat on the hard, we're on a road trip to help animals in Mexico. You can help us by becoming a patron, giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. A special thanks to our patrons and donators who make all of this possible. We're in San Cristobal doing a clinic day at Pancho's Medical Pet Center, providing free consultations and treatments. If you would like to see more of this and how we got here, check out last episode. One of the most common problems we saw was skin disease. This schnauzer had patchy hair loss, so I performed a skin scraping to examine under the microscope. I checked for bacteria, fungus, yeast and mites and found evidence of a bacterial folliculitis. We started treatment to get his itching and infection under control. All of our patients were able to receive much needed treatments thanks to our patrons and donators. Finally stopped raining, so we're going to go for a bit of an explore of St. Cristobal de las Casas. St. Cristobal de las Casas is a colonial town in the central highlands of Chiapas. It was founded in 1528 as a military fort and has since undergone many name changes before settling on its current name in 1943. In 1994, San Cristobal became the centre of attention in Mexico as indigenous guerrilla group EZLN occupied the city in response to Mexico joining NAFTA. Following these events, Chiapas received special constitutional rights and remnants of this history can still be seen today, particularly in the graphic art of the city. After a day of exploring San Cristobal de las Casas, we picked up some vaccines we'd purchased from Pancho's and headed out towards Tia Pisca, where our friend Gabby has a rescue centre for dogs and cats called Dame Onapata. So we are with the Foundation Dama Una Pata, which means like give me a paw, um, vaccinating all their rescue dogs. So they currently have 27 in their rescue center. Some of them are permanent residents because they're older or have had trouble um, going into normal family or home situations. But there are many that are up for adoption as well. Um, they also have cats here. They do a lot of really good work um, doing spay and neuter. Um, looking after all these rescue dogs and cats and working with the community to try and improve the health of animal welfare. So, um, improve animal health and welfare, I should say. So yeah, we're here vaccinating all their doggies. So we've got 27 vaccines to get out today. So easy. 
Esta es la jaula de las locas. Diez. Y los locos. Ay. Oh, once. ¿Hay once? Mía. Estas son jóvenes. Oh, Eri, sí. Mía, Luz. Ya te diste cuenta. Eri, Mía, Luz. Ali y Tala son hermanas. Ah. Sácate a la Shanti y la dejé en el cuarto. Afuera, ahorita vas para ver. Vaya. All the dogs received a vaccine to protect them from parvovirus, distemper, canine hepatitis, kennel cough, and leptospirosis. These vaccines were purchased with donations from our supporters and patrons. All of the dogs say a big thank you. So she has the little tattoo here that says that she's been spayed. All the dogs here are obviously castrated or spayed, but um, yeah, you can see the little tattoo there. And her little scar. Thank you for displaying that for us so nicely. Get in. Yes, Get in. Wind. She just didn't want to see it. Luz. Mia, afuera, hija. Dame Onapata moved to this new location earlier this year to have more room for the dogs and cats to play and live. They are still renovating the land, but for now the animals are loving their new digs, especially with the forest in their backyard to go on daily walks. You may remember the old place from our previous visit. You can check out that episode on our channel. She looks aggressive, right? But she just. She's a smiling girl. She knows how to smile. <laughs> While all the Hoven Cedars just needed a quick check over, the older dogs needed some more veterinary attention. Some of the rescues were in bad shape when Gabby found them, like this old girl who suffered from distemper as a puppy and has ongoing problems with both her teeth and balance from this disease. Thankfully, she is coping really well with the extra love and care she receives here, and we're able to start her on additional treatments to make her even more comfortable. Un medicamento se llama caprofen. Aha. Es un antiinflamatorio. Okay. Así pueden usar para mucho tiempo si ellos necesitan, pero puede tener side effects con los a veces con los riñones, riñones y los hígados. Poor little Nina suffers from seasonal allergies. The irritation in her skin causes her anal glands to become inflamed and blocked, hence the bum dragging, so I had the joy of emptying them for her. We also came up with a longer term treatment plan for Nina to help manage her allergies, which included topical treatments like this powder. It contains an anti-inflammatory, an antifungal and an antibacterial, all of which help reduce her systems with fewer systemic side effects than traditional oral medication. We had almost finished vaccinating all the dogs living here, except for the few that had gone on their daily walk when we arrived. One of the dogs had developed a mild limp on her walk, so we did a full examination to check for lameness. 
Thankfully, we didn't find anything serious and it's likely to support muscle. It had been a very, very long day for some of the doggos by this point. We're going to give them a bunch of flea and tick treatment that we have too. Um, it's basically a little bit past its expiry and we're hoping that we can get more donated in Australia. So um, there's a lot of fleas and ticks in this area because they walk the dogs in a forest. So we're going to give them enough to treat them for a couple months. We've got a bunch of different sizes. So hopefully no fleas or ticks for a few months. We also gave the resident cats a quick check over. Oh. Next episode, we continue our vaccinations at Dame Onapata in a new location and see more of San Cristobal de las Casas. If you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share our videos with your friends. You can become a patron and help provide treatments like this by visiting the links below. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody. Thank <laughs> you.